In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, we're going to be looking at timelines. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you how you can create a timeline using Evernote's table function. Now this was inspired by something that Dropbox Paper recently launched which I will show you when we go into Evernote and I'll show you how I recreated the timeline. This is going to make developing projects in Evernote really, really special. Well, I have discovered that it's really special because next, week, next year all my projects are going to go on a six-week cycle. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take eight weeks, which works out at roughly six projects for the year, six big projects for the year. It's going to be six weeks of full-on focus on the project to completion, and then two weeks just backing off having a little rest and catching up with some planning and other stuff that I want to do. I will be covering that in an episode of Productivity Mastery coming up sometime later this month. But for now, I want to show you how to create the timeline in Evernote. So we're going to do that right now. But before I do it, I'd just like to say, if you like this episode, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. OK, let's go into Evernote and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so as I said at the beginning of this episode uh, in the introduction, my whole uh, idea for this creating this came from Dropbox Paper. Now Dropbox pa Paper Dropbox Paper is a fantastic note-taking application. If you've never seen it before, it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. You can dump all sorts of stuff in here, images, video files, all sorts of stuff can be dumped in here and one of the beauties of Dropbox Paper is you can share it with whoever you like and it, because it's web based, i.e. it's based particularly on your laptop, you can only access it through the web, then it is such an easy tool to share. Why don't I use Dropbox Paper full time? Well, it doesn't quite have the same integrations as Evernote and it also, it's not quite as easy to, like the web clipper, there's no web clipper, I'd have to find the website, copy the website, paste it into the note, and that isn't quite as easy as Evernote. And also, I've been using Evernote for such a long time now, it would be a shame to change. But I have to say, Dropbox Paper is a gorgeous note-taking application, and if you're wondering about whether to, if you're wanting a plain, simple, easy-to-use, cross-platform note-taker, then have a look at Dropbox Paper. It is well worth looking. Now, this is where I got my inspiration from. They recently launched this new feature called Timeline. It is fantastic. You can add in all the things that you want to do. And this is for a course, uh, my beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. I'm updating over the, right now and hopefully we'll be relaunching it uh, in mid-November, in a couple of weeks' time. No, mid-December. So anyway, that's all in here. But this is where I was playing around to see what you could do. And then I took it over into Evernote. Now, the thing about Evernote, of course, it's not quite as beautiful as Dropbox paper. I understand that. But what I've done is I've created a template. And this is I'll show you where the template is. Actually, I did have the template a moment ago. Um, but I created a template for this. Actually, probably up here is the template. Yes, in my project planner. So what I've done now is I've actually included this timeline now in my template for my project planner. So that's right in here now. So as I mentioned in the introduction, next year I'm going to start using a six-week cycle for projects. So I can now divide this up into these various sections here. And I've created this as a template, so it's stored in my template folder. I haven't moved all my templates over to uh, Evernote templates yet, but I will do very soon. Uh, it, it won't take long to do, but I haven't started doing it. So now I've got to find that original note that I was on. Let me just go down there and... There we go, here it is. So this is one that I've actually created. So I've got my project outcome 
and my project purpose. And for those of you who followed this, you've seen that I, this is how I set up my projects. And now I've included the project timeline. So now in here, I've got the date that I want to start it from, which I started on the 1st of November, and the deadline the 15th of December, which is roughly six weeks. And what I've done in here is I can color code this if I wish. I created a table, uh, a, a six by whatever you want to do. I've created a six by two, a six by three, sorry, you could create as many downs as you wanted. And you can actually merge these uh, boxes. So here I've got review course descriptions and introductions and I've aligned that for two a two week cycle. So in there I've actually merged as you can see the two together. Uh, most of these are in like recording. It doesn't take long because I need to do that in one day. So that's in week four. Week five is uh, prepare course materials if necessary and up course, low course to Thinkific and begin promoting the new course. So all the details are in there on my timeline. So that's up at the top underneath my purpose and my outcome. And then underneath I put my project notes so possible courses images are in there. And then down here I have my project next actions which I would then copy into Todoist as a text copying, which I've covered in many episodes before. So I'm not going to go through that right now. So that's how you basically do it. So let me just create a new note and show you where how to set up that. So what we do is, uh, this is just a test. I'm going to start writing in here. So what we're going to do is we create the, the table and I'm going to choose the table size. So it's six by, we'll call it six by three. And now you can create all your headings in here. But the thing is, is when up at the top up here, you want to be starting your, so I'd put the uh, description. I don't need to put the description. I can just put week one, or you can put the date. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. I, I, I would actually go in and take the date, but those are the ways that you do it. And then to color code, I would, you can just choose a simple color. Let's go for gray and for the top line for the dates. And you can just go like that. If you wanted to color code more, you can just like do this, drag a crop, and then you drop down menu color code. Very simple. And then to merge the two boxes together. So I would, let's say, I know this is going to be a two week cycle. You can go down here and you can merge those cells. So now I've got, um, we can say review this project. Let's say we're going to do that for two weeks. And I, let's say I want to keep reviews as a yellow color. So we can just take that. And let's say in this one, we're going to uh, prepare action steps. And we can type that in there. And then I can change that color for, let's say, if we're doing something like that, we'll make that blue. So you can cut the code this however way you want it. Now, as you get, as you make this longer, you will get this kind of timeline effect. So I'm going to add an extra. So what you'll see is you've got this line down here. So if I can make this bigger, now I can run that as a timeline by just using my mouse. And that's one of the ways that you can create it in Evernote. I think it's a great addition to the project planner. And as I say, this is one of my, my bare project planner. This is where I would write all my details of the project. But it really helps me to stay focused on the outcome of the project, exactly what I want, why I'm doing it. And then I can see my project timeline as to when I'm going to get these various parts done. It's just a nice, beautiful overview of how and when you want to get certain parts of projects done. Okay, hopefully that's given you some food for thought. If you have any questions about this, please ask them in the show notes. Just before, if anyone's thinking, can I please share this planner with you? The answer is no, I can't because I've done this in the past. And when I move the note, the link gets broken and then I'm forever getting emails saying, where is that particular planner? You can set this up yourself just by following the steps I've shown you in this episode. And I will be more than happy just to try and help you. If I can put it through the Evernote templates folder and share it that way, which may come in a future update, then I will do that immediately. But for now, it's not actually that easy to share this with everyone by leaving a link to it. And because I say, if I move the, pro if I move the note, then the link gets broken. Okay, but thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, 
then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.